Welcome friends. I'm glad that you've joined us today. I'm Captain John Morrow, the Corps Officer for the Salvation Army Vancouver Corps. And at the Salvation Army in Vancouver, we are making a difference within our community. At the Salvation Army in Vancouver, you're gonna see activities and programs and services that we offer to our community. As I walk you through the story, I want you to be mindful that we believe that we can be an empowering presence within our community. We believe that we can make meaningful connections. We believe we can create quality experiences for people. We believe that we are investing in the future generations within our community. Salvation Army is a place that believes in holistic service for people, meaning uh, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, people can be on a path of growth and discovery. So you're gonna get a chance to see the Salvation Army in work. You're gonna get a chance to see the Salvation Army in action. And it's a great work. It's a work that simply could not be possible without the support of a dedicated and passionate group of staff and volunteers and donors who give very generously to this great work that we are doing. Mm, my favorite thing is that we are a family here, that we have the same goal, we want to help people. I truly feel that we're put on this earth to help a fellow man, to make life easier for those around us. A lot of times families come um, under distress. They just need maybe some a listening ear, someone to tell them it's going to be okay and say we can help you resolve what you're going through. So part of my work is working with those who come through our doors and may be in need of emergency type items. Um, so we work with housing and food services as well as just connections with the community. I've always been proud that the people see us as a place they can go to with any question. One person has a good experience and they can say the Salvation Army is going to be there to help anyone who comes to visit. I'm Rachel Hicks and um, at a point in my life um, I was uh, homeless and me and my two children were living in a garage and I was signed up through um, one of the programs to get help. I never thought I'd ever own a home. I uh, never thought I'd ever get married. I uh, never thought my kids would actually have a father that was there. And like I said, if it wasn't for Salvation Army coming into my life and helping me with uh, the process of moving from, you know, the situation I was into into something that was, and that, you know, they helped me along the way. It wasn't like they just moved me in and dropped me. You know, sometimes when things happen, you know, you, you get going and then sometimes you fall backwards and then you're right back in the position you're in. But they actually kept the process going until I was able to stand on my own two feet. I want other people out there to realize that there is a lot of help out there. You just have to be willing to put the footwork in and work hard, you know, with the support of everybody at Salvation Army. It's just... When people pull up to the Salvation Army Vancouver Corps, we have a job to do to go out there and provide for them food that'll be put on the table so that that household and, the, and those represented in that household can eat. And it's our prayer that they get a chance to experience not only the food, but experience the culture of the Salvation Army Vancouver Corps, a culture that is embedded within our mission to know that this is not only about handing out food, but this is about a smile. This is about a God bless you. This is about, we are glad that you came here today. So pantry opens at 10, and so we have volunteers who will come in um, at nine and they'll build carts, they'll stock the shelves, they'll get ready for the day. Um, and then once we open, you know, clients will call in, We'll have people go out, get their IDs, come back in, build carts for them, bring it out to them all the way up till three. We have volunteers who come in for different shifts and they will continue building carts, continue stocking shelves, and work outside with the clients. You know, people will, when they get that cart, just yesterday I had someone, I'm so glad that you put chips in here, my son, he'll love this. and. You know, it, it's nice to know that even something small like a bag of chips really makes someone happy. 
Well, we at uh, Say Club like to provide an environment, a safe environment for the kids to come to after school where they can, you know, have fun and explore and learn new things and give them a little bit of exposure um, to things that maybe they wouldn't without our program being available to them. I think for families it gives them, uh, you know, like a, a peace of mind knowing that their kids are somewhere safe at least for a little bit so they get a chance to maybe decompress a little bit or run some errands, whatever they need to do during that time. I, so I think they, I think that you know the families know that the children are learning something while they're here. They're not just running wild and doing whatever they want. We have some fun things we do on our Wednesday night programs. Um, it's a music ministry. It involves them um, learning how to play some instruments, participating in crafts and activities that can earn them different badges. Also, we do a lot of uh, seasonal fun things, so we incorporate a lot of cooking uh, you know, activities um, in our summer programs. We do a lot of outdoor activities, so they get some recreation time and exposure to, you know, a lot of different games and stuff that aren't necessarily uh, practiced at home or common if they didn't have the space, you know, or availability to be able to do a basketball, soccer, kickball, you know, things that require like a yard. You know, our summer camp, I always think of like all your super, super exciting projects, all your super exciting like field trips, everything you want to do that's you can't really do during the school year, that's what you use in the summer. Basically everything that we do like on a normal day amped up to like 10. We did our day camp uh, with the focus on music and that was a blast. For a lot of these kids it's the very beginning for them uh, in band and it helps them kind of get started and when they go into the schools uh, and uh, they start learning uh, music there, they're already a leg up on uh, where a lot of the kids are in, in, uh, in the music programs. The amount of toys for the kids was absolutely amazing. My name is Crispin Lewis, and uh, I am a service mission leader in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We're connected to the Salvation Army mostly because our churches have a huge partnership up at the higher levels. Our service missionaries come here on a regular basis and serve in your food pantry, as well as we uh, were connected on your toy drive. I feel like the volunteers and the staff that worked during that time were just all really dedicated and focused on bringing that joy during that time of year, which can be a stressful time of year for a lot of people. My name is Kathleen Pizers. I am the Adoptive Family Coordinator. My specific job is um, with the adopted families. These families get referred to us through partnering agencies. Once I get those families that have said, you know, I'm in this position and I'm really needing help, I start then looking for community partners or sponsors to be able to help these families. It is intense for a couple of months, super busy. I absolutely love being able to meet people throughout our community, being able to build that relationships with our community partners who then will say, we love to help throughout the year for different things, whether that's back to school programs or different things that we have going on, uh, for them to see how that connects with them with other people in the community. And they just want to continue to help and I love being able to do that. It gives me a warm fuzzies, you know? <laughs> it makes me feel good about what I'm doing. Come on in, we'll give you a tour, you know? You can take a look at what we actually do and what our needs are here, not only financially, but volunteer-wise. Come see what, what we have to offer. Um, we do a lot with a little. They do do the most good, like the, <laughs> like the slogan said, the, the community does need to know that. I would call on people to help us do both, to give us the resources to meet the immediate need and to come alongside us in meaningful ways of outreach to touch the lives that will never be the same because we offered them hope.